wrapping up our uh, last video of transformations, at least using the three basic transformations here. Um, all of these keep the object the exact same size. Uh, our first video, we looked at how to translate an object. That's basically sliding it. Uh, we also looked how to reflect it in our second video. And this one is our third one. It's our final type of transformation, and it's the rotation. Uh, sometimes we'll talk about rotating it clockwise. That means you're spinning it to the right. Or counterclockwise, that means we spin it to the left. So that's our overview. Let's take a look at our first example here. Um, I've got a slightly different way of, of uh, doing this. I had a sixth grade teacher um, that I respected a lot that showed us how to rotate this. Um, and this is probably the, the best method that I can, can show you how to do it. Uh, you can actually turn your paper. So um, sketch this out real quick. And then uh, when you're ready, hit play again. OK, so hopefully you've got your paper right there. And uh, you see triangle KAL sitting right here. And it says, rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. Well, counterclockwise means we're going to the left. If we turn it 90 degrees to the left, that's like one turn. There we go. We turn this to the left. And so now your paper looks just like mine. Now, let's just pretend this is the y-axis. See this y-axis running through here? That's our y-axis. And now let's go through and make uh, this our x-axis, okay, and that's how it would look like with when our paper was normal, and that's great, and that's fine, but let's go see where A wound up at. Well, this is A prime now. That's where we want it to go to. A prime uh, is going to be at a location of 1, 0. L prime is where this L is at right now, so I'm going to make a note here of L prime, and that would be one, two, three, four for the x value, and then one for the y value. And then k is one, two, two for the x value. So k prime will be two for the x value, and its location will be at negative three. Now, your paper has paper still been turned uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise. At this point, what you can do is actually move your paper to where it's horizontal again. Horizontal, uh, back to its uh, original position. So let me fix mine here. And you need to take notes of what these locations are, just like what I have. And now look, here is our y axis. Here is our x axis. Let's go use it uh, to plot a prime. A prime is right here. Let's see, excuse me, l prime is at four. 1, so this is L prime, and K prime is at 2, negative 3. And so now all we have to do is connect these three points, and we have rotated this triangle. It looks odd, but remember, all we did was we tried to rotate it 90 degrees to the left. And when we take a look at what's happening there, this a will be flipped up into that line, okay? So it will be right on the x-axis there. This L would be flipped up one unit above the x-axis. And then K would be underneath this axis, but it would be two over and three below. So two over and three below. And that's how we're able to rotate everything 90 degrees. So um, let's try this one again. Uh, sketch this out. Um, Hit pause when you're ready, and we'll do this together. All right. Um, at, at this point, you should be ready to, to do this with me. Let's talk about this. This is not going to be a reflection. It's going to be a rotation of 180 degrees. Now, it didn't tell us uh, to make it counterclockwise, so we're just going to assume it means clockwise. Here's 90 degrees, right? Let's do another 90 degrees, so another turn. So we flip this uh, 180 degrees rotation. Let's look at this as if this is the y-axis right here. Okay, this is the y-axis. And let's say that this is the x-axis, okay? I mean, that's what it looks like on your paper. So where is D at? I know it's hard to read that D upside down, but D prime is now in the location of one, negative one, right? 1, negative 1. H is at, and we 
new location of 1, negative 3. J is at a location of negative 2, negative 4. So J prime is negative 2, negative 4. And S, we see that's at negative 3, negative 2. So that becomes S prime. Negative 3, negative 2. And the great thing about this is, is that after you've turned your paper and you made your, your list of uh, where these points will be moving to, you can then turn your paper back uh, to the original orientation you had it and look at your list to plot the new points. So D is at 1, negative 1 right here. So that's D prime. Um, H is at, at 1, negative 3 prime is at 1, negative 3. J prime is at negative 2, negative 4. So let's call this J prime. And S prime is at negative 3, negative 2. The shape is the same size. However, we just moved it, and we moved it using the transformation method of rotation. Uh, it is not a reflection because D is not D prime is not sitting right here. It's actually two quadrants over. Uh, there's different methods. I just like the rotation and making a little note uh, on your paper that way. Um, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this right here. I would sketch it out. I am not going to go into uh, note keeping of, of how it all goes. I just want you to be able to um, compare what you do to what I do. Okay, so hopefully you've done that, and uh, here's where uh, the, the points will, will be at. Um, this will be S prime. Okay. So M prime will be right here. Q prime is here. And R prime will be right here. And I'm just going to hand draw these lines here, but this is where your figure should have wound up after a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. Remember, it goes to the left. Okay. And number 12, it is a 90 degree rotation, so you might want to pause and do this. Um, but here we go. It's a 90 degrees clockwise rotation, so it's going to be going to the right. And um, not too difficult. Um, and I even uh, kept my my notes for shorthand here, uh, after I rotated it, I was able to see where the B moved to. The B would rotate down to uh, 4, negative 4, uh, R would be 0, negative 1, and W is negative 1, 3. Again, this is just shorthand notation, so it doesn't have to be anything nice and, and pretty. It just needs to be accurate and clean enough for you to read. Uh, but we successfully rotated the triangle, and hopefully now uh, you know how to do that. The only thing I really haven't gone into is... Um, you have to understand is that there's different ways you can rotate it, and it's, it's, it's about what's called a center of rotation. When they say rotated about the origin, uh, it's as if we stuck a pin right there in our paper and we rotated our paper around uh, that red dot, which is the origin. And we've done that with every single one of these examples. It's a different situation when they say rotated around a different point. Like if I rotated it around D, uh, it'd be like this um, quadrilateral was spinning uh, right here at D. And uh, S um, would, would actually have wound up, let's see, of 1 to the right, um, 4. It would have wound up right here is where S would have wound up instead of over here. So there's a difference of the um, center of rotation. And uh, if they tell you, hey, rotate it about the origin, this paper spinning method works, uh, we can look at how to handle this other rotation situation. Um, later after you've gotten good at the, the origin rotation.